Buffalo's waterfront over the past couple of centuries has been a pretty interesting place. On October 19th, 1844, right in this area, something remarkable happened. It was what most people would call a tidal wave or a tsunami that came in off the lake from a prevailing wind here in Buffalo. This whole lowland was inundated and destroyed. And when the waters receded, the carnage and wreckage was everywhere. These are the old foundations of what may have been places and taverns along the waterline. So when that water came in, in areas like this, it crept up quietly to a height of around 22 feet, which is the second story. And when the waters receded, it pulled the houses and many people back out into the darkness. Many were never seen again. Over a hundred ships were wrecked and destroyed. As many as 79 lives were lost. The water was said to have changed color 25 miles inland from the disturbances. The wind started picking up around midnight, which completely inundated downtown Buffalo. People were drowned in their beds, railroad tracks were pulled up, and as many as a hundred ships were destroyed. Some of the boats that were on their way into Buffalo at that time were swamped, broken on the rocks, and people were sucked overboard. Now remember, this was 1844, so the highways weren't here, and a lot of the buildings are gone, and there was no electricity, no phones, no way to tell anybody anything, except that bit by bit over the course of that evening, the water level rose. One account said that a woman had remained up to her neck in water during the greater part of the night and she was holding a small child on her shoulders and unfortunately she died but the child was rescued. Another saw a man trying to rescue a woman from the water and they both were pulled back out into the darkness and neither of them were ever seen again. The bodies that were recovered from the storm surge were laid out in front of the old courthouse uh, so that relatives could claim them. Technically, the little tidal waves that hit here are called Mateo tsunamis, or mini tsunamis as I like to call them, are basically storm surges. And when the wind shifts in a given area, the water shifts with it. This is like carrying a big tub of water in your arms and you're trying to keep it from sloshing back and forth. And that's what happens when the wind suddenly changes directions on the Great Lakes. This effect is particularly uh, enhanced by the fact that Lake Erie is very shallow, so that wind really changes the impact of the water shift and that surge. These types of things still happen today and just happen this fall. Anytime that wind shifts, that water rises. Obviously, the death and destruction is not nearly the same. We've built reinforcements on the waterfront to protect against these surges. But in 1844, it was basically open water in this city, which at the time had a population of just under 30,000 people. Next time you're out on a stormy night and you see the wind kick up, 
pay attention to the waterfront and you'll see how those storm surges work.